Following Pyongyang's lack of cooperation in the murder case of the half-brother of the regime's leader, Malaysia has taken some strong measures towards a communist state, with the latest one being expelling North Korean diplomat from the country. He has complied with the order and departed on Monday evening. Yu Shin, give us the updates. Relations between North Korea and Malaysia continue to fray after the murder of Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korea's leader. Malaysia ordered Pyongyang's ambassador Kang Chol to leave the country by Monday evening, declaring him persona non grata. Kang's expulsion came after he failed to appear at the Malaysian foreign ministry when summoned, and after he said Malaysia's investigation into Kim's murder could not be trusted. Malaysia has also canceled visa-free entry for North Korean travelers, a policy which took effect on Monday. The visa restrictions will be affected immediately after in consideration of the security of our sovereignty. Amid rising tensions, the North Korean suspect who was released and then deported last Friday, Lee jong Chol, is demanding an apology and compensation from Malaysia for what he called mistreatment. Ri has denied any link to Kim's murder and told reporters the evidence collected in the case was fabricated to her Pyongyang. They tried to trample on the dignity of the republic. And as a citizen of the republic, I can't let them do that. But the Malaysian authorities said they treated Ri like any other suspect. North Korean ruler's half-brother was murdered three weeks ago at Kuala Lumpur airport. And so far, two Southeast Asian women have been charged and six North Korean men are considered suspects or otherwise wanted in connection with the killing. Four of them reportedly flew back to Pyongyang on the day of the attack. With the investigation still underway, Malaysia hasn't officially blamed North Korea for the killing, while Pyongyang said Malaysia is in fact responsible for Kim's death. Yoon Shin, Arirang News.